Hello and welcome back. I'm Damien from the Wells Family Journey. Today I like to talk about jobs, work. Now, from a very young age, we are most of us are taught the value of working. You know, you have to work to achieve that American dream. You have to work hard. You got you know, you got to got to be up early. Uh there's a saying the early bird catches the worm and you know, just things things like that in general. And I know that as far as myself goes, I was taught at a very young age the the necessity of hard work and the benefits that you can reap from working hard. Now, not not necessarily if you work hard and you know you can have a good retirement, but you know just all the benefits that that come along with it during working hard, like. Um, I guess good cars, good, good, um, good houses, you know, good quality of life overall in general. But that's all fine, you know, cause you have to have a certain work ethic to succeed in the United States. Like, um, I know when I was a teenager, I worked hard. Even when I had a day off, you know, I went to my job. I was like, hey, do y'all need me to work? Did someone call out? You know, because I was always trying to put myself above the normal, I guess, teenager, the normal teenager workload then. And because, uh, you know, teenagers are just starting out in life trying to figure out how things run and how things go. So I was always trying to to be above I guess my peers, you know, um, to let, to let my boss know that I have a great work ethic. I'm not scared to do what it takes to work, to, to get the job done. And I just want to let, let them know my boss, system boss, system manager, you know, that I am that worker that you can always count on no matter what it is. So I, I was enjoying it. You know, I, I was, making great money for when I was a teenager for back then. And, you know, I had, I had plenty as a teenager. I even had enough to buy my own car. What was that? Two years. Yeah. I think it was about two years, two and a half years before I even graduated high school. I had enough money for that. I paid my own insurance, paid my own gas, paid my own upkeep, of that vehicle just from that one job. And then I even had spending money for myself spending money for my girlfriend that I had throughout high school and you know it just made me feel good and i know that a lot of parents nowadays we need to instill the exact same work ethic this exact same responsibilities in our kids today in this generation growing up because you know like every generation before you always hear oh the this generation is worthless. Uh, I'm, I'm a generation Xer. And, you know, they told us back, back in the day, oh, you guys are, are bums. You're not going to mount enough. And then, you know, you know, I grew up skateboarding and I grew up skateboarding and BMXing, you know, and just pretty much having fun, you know, but that work ethic was instilled in me at, at a very young age. So I think that as far as parents go, that we just need to make our children understand. Don't do everything for your child. I think that really hurts teenagers growing up when mommy or daddy is always doing something for that kid, you know, with, you know, uh, like buying them their car, doing their laundry, cleaning their rooms, you know buying all the food that they want that in my opinion that hurts the upbringing of kids because they they start depending on their parent to do those things 
Whereas once you become an adult, unless you're, unless you're filthy rich, nobody's going to do those things for you. So why as an adult, would you work a nine to five or a nine to seven job, come home, wash your kids clothes, clean up after your kids, wash their dishes. You know, they've been sitting on since they get out of school, what, two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? While they're sitting there playing video games and doing God knows what else <clears throat> on their tablets and in their rooms for the afternoon. Teach them responsibilities. Because if you don't teach them responsibilities now, once they become an adult, that's when things go go wrong. You know? <clears throat> I, I'm one of those that, that wholeheartedly believes in the military. You know? And in, in one of my previous videos, I stated that at a young age, I knew I wanted to go in the military because, you know, it, it's financial stability right out of, right out of high school. You know, I don't know any other job that right out of high school, you'll be able to have a roof over your head that one, you don't have to pay for <laughs> the government pays for it for you food. You no, know, I'll say free food, but you no. Know, the government will give you money, but then they'll take some of it away so that you can eat on that basis, uh, food establishments, the buildings, uh, that their military cooks work out of, not, not fast food places, but, but those places, you know what I'm saying? And you don't have to pay electricity, no water. And then if you choose to do the college program, you, you put in, I think for me, it was like a hundred dollars a month for the first year I was in the military. And then my, my college was paid for. I don't know any other establishment that will do something like that for kids right out of high school. So I highly encourage kids to, to do this. You know, it's four years out of your life. What are you going to do after you graduate? For the first two, three years, you're going to sit around doing nothing, going out, goofing around with your friends. You know what I'm saying? You're not learning anything. You're, you know, it's amazing. Military is amazing. So what I'm trying to say is teach your kids about work and being responsible at a young age. So when they grow up, <clears throat> they won't be dependable, excuse me, dependent on mommy and daddy to be an adult. Mommy and daddy is getting older. You know, if you had kids at a young age, that's great. You're still pretty much young. But if you had kids at an older age, you know, 35, 40 years old, they're in high school, about to graduate, you're going to be, what, 50, 60, almost 60 years old. Yeah, you don't have time to, to goof around and to pick up after them, you know what I'm saying? So teach them young. Teach them that, that good worth ethic and responsibilities at a very young age. They will thank you for it. As time goes on, they will thank you for it. I know when I was younger, I didn't understand it. I was the only child for 15 years and I was pretty much doing everything. I had to iron my own clothes. I had to wash my own clothes. Uh, there'd be times, you know, I come home from school, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, and I have notes in, <laughs> sitting on the table or on the refrigerator talking about meats thawed out in the sink, cook some dinner for yourself or make, make this certain dish. All the ingredients are in there. You know what I'm saying? So it, I love to cook, but it also taught me responsibility to be able to take care of myself, you know, and not because my mom couldn't. It's just, that's the way I was raised. And it's amazing. I, when I joined the military, it amazed me about how many 18, 19 year olds didn't know how to iron their uniform back when we had to iron our, our uniforms in the military. So I knew how to iron from age nine, 10. So I made money ironing my fellow soldiers uniforms because they didn't know how to, they'll burn it and they'll get in trouble. They had to go buy new ones. So I ironed them. I pressed them. I shined the boots. I made the extra money on the side because I already knew how to do that before I even joined the military. I shined my mother's boots when she was in the air force. I ironed my mother's uniforms when she was in the Air Force. It's amazing. You know what I'm saying? So 
I loved it. It was extra money on the side while I was making money in the military, helping out my fellow soldier and helping out myself, helping out that bank account. So teach your kids at a very young age to be self-sufficient because you never know when your time is being going to get called. You never know. We could be healthy today, go to sleep tonight and not be around tomorrow. So if we're working our nine to fives, our nine to sevens, we come home and we do everything for our, for our children that they could, could have done themselves and then we pass away that night, what are we leaving for our kids? Nothing. So work. Teach them good work ethics. But the main thing in this video today is don't work yourself to the bone, to your dead tired. And I, I wanted to make this video today because I had planned to wake up at like 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning, uh, do a little exercise, do a little stretching, and um, head out to my job uh, at 9 o'clock. And it's a volunteer job, but, you know, but I didn't. I, you know, I woke up late, about 7.30, 7.30, 7.40, and I was like trying to rush to get out. Then I was like, I'm thankful to have this job where I don't have to be there. I can pick and choose what days I want to show up and make my money. And why am I rushing? Let me take care of some things I need to take care of at the house. Uh, you know, I have a buddy coming over this weekend and I was like, uh, yeah, you can, you can use a spare bedroom. So <laughs> I need to clean up that spare bedroom because it's also <laughs> my YouTube office. So. Yeah, so I'm using the guest guest room as the, my my YouTube office for for right now. But so yeah, so don't work yourself too hard so that you can't enjoy other things in life, you know. But teach your kids how to take care of things at a younger age to help you and them as they get older. They won't thank you now, but they will definitely thank you in the future. And I, I knew that, you know, I, I was the only child, like I said, mopping the floor, waxing the floor, <laughs> scrubbing the floor with a green pad on my hands and knees to get marks out the floor, shampooing my carpets when I got, became a teenager, you know what I'm saying? Teach them those things. I remember when my mother got married, uh, when I was in high school, my stepfather uh, tried to teach me how to change my alternator on my car. I've only did it once. Do I remember how to do that? No. But he attempted to show me. He showed me how to change the oil on my car. Now, yes, I did remember. I <laughs> keep that one in mind because it was something I had to constantly do. Every three to four months, I was changing my oil. I learned, you know, changing your oil is simple. You just get under that car, pull, unscrew one plug. It all comes out. You can do it within 30 minutes. And it's you can save yourself about $20, $25 versus taking it to a, a uh, oil place and having them charge you $60 to $80 to change your oil. It's crazy. But yeah, so teach your kids as a, at a young age. Good work ethics, how to be responsible, how to take care of themselves. It will help them as they become teenagers. It will help them as young adults and also help you. So that's it for today. I just wanted to get that off my mind because I was like, why am I rushing? Let me slow down. I got to slow down a little bit every now and then. And I just want to throw this video out there because it, it was on my mind about work. Don't work yourself too hard for too long that you can't enjoy life as it goes on, as it passes by. So just slow down a bit. And as always... Help somebody out. Be kind to some, to somebody. Be, you know what I'm saying? You never know what that person next to you is going through. Simple word, you know. I know it's during COVID. If you feel comfortable enough, they feel give them a hug. It might brighten their day because you never know what the person next to you is going through. So help somebody out today, and I'll see you on the next video.